attention and a lot of the times people only talk to other people to talk about themselves a lot of people that's what friendship is friendship is hearing about what the person is going through their secret but it's also simply just listening just being there and just having understanding Welcome back to my channel for anyone who is returning and welcome for anyone who is new. Um, my name is Michelle and today's video uh, is about capitalism and friendship and how I feel like, yeah, capitalism has killed friendship and interpersonal relationships. And I know I can't be the only person who feels this way but um i feel like we all participate in this culture of um not being able to always manage relationships um in a way that everyone feels balanced so like i know i don't respond to my friends uh, as much as they would like but i honestly am just i'm just not sorry i'm not the best texter um yeah sorry i was having a conversation with my girlfriend so like that's still like i can't focus now but i'm really trying to get to the points that i need to make for today's video um and we were just talking about gun violence in dc and how it is in black communities and how do people stop it so I want to define friendship from the actual textbook definition and that's what I'm about to do. All right, so I'm just going to start off by reading the definition of friendship and then defining what it means to me specifically. Um, so it's just me sharing my opinions about it. It's not a fact. All right, so friendship is defined as the emotions or conduct of friends, the state of being friends, a relationship between friends, um, a state of mutual trust and support between allied nations. So that's the definition of friendship um, as far as the, <laughs> the dictionary goes. But when you think about friendship, you think about, um, I don't know, just the same things you would think about in a romantic relationship. So you want to think about intimacy, uh, your self-esteem, um, trust, uh, comfort, um, support. I feel like all of those are important and vital to any relationship. And I feel that uh, friendship is something that is very layered in terms of interpersonal relationships because we all have our own meaning of friendship as you see it's not clearly defined so I feel like people already have this idea of what it means to be a good friend to them and it's it's hard to have friends and to sustain friendships as people change and grow and as you learn sometimes like you outgrow people or they outgrow you um and it's okay but i do want us to also as a society not make every relationship we have transactional especially now more than ever because we live in a society where like everything not everything is about content but like um people are not used to just having an authentic experience anymore where there's not at least someone you know vlogging it or recording it for social media or anything like that and i feel like a lot of us get lost outside of the things that we see online so like everyone has been inside really or you know for most of us have been inside a lot for the last few years and I feel like people really have to like relearn social skills, relearn like relationships if you have been like secluded, but also 
I know that like there are some people who do not center their life around specifically their romantic relationship first it's more so that you have a, a community of people and I don't know I was looking for a word like I don't know the word but um when they say it takes a village I feel that in my heart and I definitely think that that applies for um friendships as well and interpersonal relationships so I know that I can't be the only person who is like crushed by how capitalism has ruined so many friendships because it makes people feel like every exchange that they have me like with people that they care about um there is something to be gained from those exchanges or there's something to uh use as leverage for this person to do xyz because you feel like you're entitled you know to to have them <laughs> to having them do it just because you have a close personal relationship with them and i know that um as I'm learning really like what friendship means to me, I've learned that I definitely wasn't a right fit for, for a lot of people. Um, I always get told that I'm super outspoken and opinionated and even judgmental. And I used to be upset like, oh, like I'm not judgmental. Um, but also I realized the way in which I wanted to support people was not the way that they needed to be supported. So for example, if you have a friend and they're saying, okay, I'm dating this person and then they've cheated on me three times and I'm like, leave his sorry ass. But they're like, no, you know what I'm saying? We've been together a couple of years. I want to work through it. Um, but now they don't want to tell me because they feel like I'm judgmental. But it's just like you just told me a list of 20 things that he did. And you know what I'm saying? You seem like you feel better when I say it. Leave his ass alone. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But also I realized too, and I mentioned this in a past video, is that like I'm a low maintenance friend. I don't have to talk to you every day. If I'm in the mood to talk, I will. But I always will try to say at least like I love you I hope you're doing well like you know I hope you you are your best self blah 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 and people really um don't always take chill friends or more lax friends um as serious as friends because we are not always present and I'm not used to having to always be present um like physically to have a relationship with people um I've had family that was in prison I've had you know friends in other places you know who didn't mind talking but one thing I realized too is that a lot of people use their friendships to fill that void of what they think they should have but like at a certain time in their life as far as ro romantic relationships go so for example if i'm single and um i know i'm just gonna hang with all of my friends and then like i'm happy that you know i'm hanging with all of my single friends and we're doing xyz and it fits for now because we're all single but people kind of don't go out of that mindset of like okay things change a lot of people seem to think that uh things stay the same forever and i'm not saying that your friendship cannot last for a long time because there are a lot of people who have been friends their entire lives but one thing i realized too is like again you literally have to find people who understand like how like what you mean as far as your mental health goes when you are depressed or even with sexuality like just you being comfortable so like i i want to use this example the most because uh the other day i got into an argument with my sister and she sent me like 12 videos and she mentioned how 
um basically she brought up my sexuality right um i when i was younger i told my family that i like girls like this is before i even said like i ever liked the boy blah 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 blah, blah. and they just were like no so i kind of just you know i was just was like okay well then i'm bisexual blah 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 but i knew i was gay but i still was doing all of these things and i without even realizing too i kind of like center not center my life around dating per se but just i worked so hard to to have friends that were uh feminine that cared about all the shit that i wanted to care about but i didn't necessarily care about really like i didn't participate in certain conversations or I wouldn't go to certain hangouts or dog, you know what I'm saying? So as I started to kind of like peel back the layers, but also like listening to people talk when they don't know, you know, where you are or who you really are is always interesting. All right. So I lost my train of thought really quickly, but... <laughs> The example I was going to use was like, I would never forget um, my freshman year of college and I hadn't told like my inner circle of friends that I like girls, right? And they all live, they're all, they all were girls and they live with a, another girl that was gay or that they assumed to be gay. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, I listened to them talk about how uncomfortable they felt with living with her. Remind you, when women live together, like, but the college I went to is like, the suites are small, right? And then it's three rooms and then it's one bathroom. So it's two people to a room, unless you're lucky and your roommate doesn't come. So basically she had, she was in one room and they were in two different rooms. So they all were, you know, in the same suite and they were just like cracking jokes and making fun of like how she was looking at them. And I just remember feeling like, well, damn, I don't even want to tell them that I'm bisexual because it's just like, I don't want them to feel like all of a sudden I am attracted to them because that's not how it works. Um, but I found it very interesting that here we are still, we were only freshmen in college. So <laughs> it was literally like my first semester. So it's not like they really owe me anything, but it also made me skeptical, but it also made me be prepared for like their opinions. And so I realized, okay, well, I'm not the only like queer person at this school. So those are the people that maybe I should gravitate towards more um, versus continuously putting uh, certain narratives in my mind and then also not wanting to be a part of a conversation that like, it was just disrespectful to me. Um, and I have voiced that I didn't think it mattered and I would never forget the next semester, like the very beginning, sorry, actually the very end of my freshman year, I mean, freshman year, first semester, I just was like, yeah, I'm bisexual. And they just were like, that's one example. Another example that I can name would be, um, a couple years ago when I thought that I was planning one to move to another place with my close friend best friend at the time and then also planning a trip and I remember one this was like so anyone who knows me knows like I just be popping up doing whatever I want that's it I don't give no explanation but long story short I had anybody who knew me when I was younger knew that I was bisexual or they should have known, but I wasn't really dating. And so I think like 2017 is like when I really popped out on social media, even really like openly dating a woman. And yeah, just, just the way the dynamics of things like 
had changed for me was just weird as far as friendship goes because at that point like I had already tried for like at least a year and a half to kind of live up to whatever heteronormative standards that I could just so that people would just leave me alone but then I realized like there was no point because I'm still gay and just hearing how people talk when they don't know so if you hear anything it's my girlfriend getting dressed but i forgot where i where i stopped at all right to get back on track basically what had happened was that my close friend uh at the time my best friend at the time i kept telling her like i'm gay i'm gay like every day because we spoke every day and i just kept saying it just to see like how she truly felt because even though I already had had girlfriends, a lot of women seem to think, and a lot of people, period, think that, like, when you come out as gay or anything like that, it's a phase. And it's just like, no, it's not a phase. And some of y'all are closeted. And that's okay. One day, I hope that you come out. But, yeah, basically, it it just, I feel that that was the thing that made her the most uncomfortable um as far as our friendship goes because that's not really something that like people i realize that people like people as long as they don't have to expand on how much they truly are disgusted by something they'll pretend like they're not disgusted by it and for me that's a really big problem because if you have a problem then you, you know what i'm saying you're wasting my time and i feel like as i kept telling her that it just was making her angry and there was no other reason for her not to speak to me besides the fact that she is homophobic. Um, and she may see this video. She follows me on Instagram right now. I don't give a damn. Um, but yeah, I just feel that people don't even take into consideration what you are going through to you, to others, people are tools. So like, for example, a person would be like, oh my gosh, uh, today, well, I'm not drinking right now, but if I was, people don't hit me up to see how I'm doing, to see what what's going on with my health, and, but then want to ask me about drinking. So it'll be like, okay, no one else is available. So I know Michelle, she be drinking all the time. So today is Thirsty Thursday. So I'm just going to invite her out. And you know what I'm saying? That's not friendship to me. Um, that's not realistic. Like to me, you are associate or like, yeah i think that's the word associate i don't know another word but i don't know to me i feel like people make things about themselves so relationships are included and if you are not there to serve them and their ego and to make them feel more important or more i don't want to say higher up or more above you a lot of people like in today's society now especially are narcissistic as hell and sociopaths and it's really weird that like i don't think about friendship in the way that i did growing up so like with the people in my family their friends still hang or, like still pop up at my grandmother's house to check on my uncles or still um if something happens you know what i'm saying they're still there or they still may go bowling or stuff like that it's like very simple like we're there no matter what but in today's time with friendship people truly see things as an exchange so it could be that um i have extra money because my boyfriend pays my bills right so i'm gonna say hey girl in a month i want to go to new york right and you hit me up and i'm like girl my checks are accounted for you know what i'm saying rent went up and you know you know what i'm saying i ain't got no money besides the money i'm making at my job a lot of y'all be pretending like y'all got extra money and y'all also know that y'all have additional financial support but when it comes to people like me who literally are on their own have been on their own forever you don't have it's nothing saved up because you gotta use whatever you got to keep going through to the next day and yet here i am trying to overextend myself to even be deemed worthy of a friendship that's like not even based on anything real. So like, I don't know, everybody loses in this situation. You lost a good friend because you classes as hell, but you 
you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense. But I just feel like if people started appreciating more what others do, and I really think that it's important too that people start telling the backstory when they do favors for people. When I'm gonna ask you for a favor, let me tell y'all what to do. Tell them everything you had to do to do them that little favor, even if it was just to give them $20. Because people be thinking like, you could just do whatever and it's like no i have to choose do i want to give you this twenty dollars or do i want to keep it and you know what i'm saying just in case i need that last meal and i just feel like yeah i'm a low maintenance friend i'm gonna respond when i want to unless it's something urgent and a lot of the times people only talk to other people to talk about themselves for the most part like to a lot of people that's what friendship is and yes friendship is hearing about what the person is going through their secrets their blah 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 blah. but it's also simply just listening just being there and just having understanding because a lot of y'all be saying that your friends are like family but it's like if girl we friends and i see how you treat your family so i know how you would treat me so i don't know i feel like i'm not meant for this new age of friendship and if you someone that likes movies, weed, and that I'm dramatic, we could be friends. But besides that, I can't, I can't grasp it. Um, but yep, that's all I got for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.